that became that became my kind of calling card. So you wrote three books. You have yeah. Army of Frogs. Oh, uh, was the first one. Number two was the Rainbow Serpent, and then number three was Amphibian's End. Funny story about Amphibian's End. Uh, as you can see by the front, it is destruction and bad things happening to the main character. And when we turned in this, the, um, the, the the manuscript, um, Abrams hated it. They hated it. They were like, Susan was like, we're not putting this out. I said, well, I'm not writing anything else. So here you go. <laughs> right? They started to love it. Once they started to realize what I was doing, like I was on a Game of Thrones thing before Game of Thrones. Oh, maybe not, because those books are 20 years old before the TV show. Like I... I've watched four episodes of Game of Thrones in my life, and this has been called Game of Thrones for Kids. <laughs> and I'm That's like, funny. And I'm like... Conclusions are supposed to be bloody and double-crossing. I mean, Harry Potter ended is. that way. Yeah, Return of the Jedi ended that way. And, and my job as a storyteller was always to be ahead of the 12-year-old kid that's reading this. Because if they know what's happening, if they understand, if they can... They've gotten to the point now, they can tell. Just like anybody else can tell a story, right? I, I, I know what's going to happen. And I'm like, no, you don't. Read it. You know what I mean? So I'm when zig. I don't even zig and zag. I throw you off the cliff. You know what I mean? That you have to do that because there's so much of this stuff. And unless you have something for them to hold on to, that's surprising. It doesn't have to be good or bad. It has to be surprising. You know what I mean? So I'm. I, that's that's my thing.